A single day away from Fable 3. I shall pass the time using this. Hello, this is Guy Christian Knight with Let's Play Lego Indiana Jones 2. In the last episode, I did Malice in the Palace in the other course. Malice being the second course, of course. <laughs> of course. Anyways, we'll get on with the fourth mission of Temple of Doom. And I should be able to finish this movie within this video, or at least I would sincerely hope. And there's Molaram again, the Kelly Ma cult. Hey, chicken! Awesome! Definitely more PG than the actual movie was. Wait, what's going on? Wait, give me the rock! Ah, oh, nice use of the hedges. Oh! Dang, these guys are tricky. Alright, so, yeah, the boss is actually Maharaja, believe it or not. But, um, actually, he wasn't in that one course in Indiana Jones 1 as well. Whatever. Anyways, this is Temple Tantrum. Uh, kind of a mini boss exploration thing, if you could, if you want to call it that. Yeah, let's just call it the mini boss of the course. So yeah, the, Ma uh, the Maharaja only has one heart. However, it takes quite a bit to get to him. So, yeah, thus the exploration part of this mission. Uh, I don't believe the screen really does anything besides get you a few good studs. <laughs> oh, that poor scuba diver! <laughs> the water is lava. Uh, so yeah, there's a good place to uh, get a few studs if you didn't have any. Now, um, uh, occasionally the Maharaja will throw some black things at us. He, he basically throws the black version of um, uh, Willy's perfume thing called Black Sleep. And um, that actually allows, uh, once you get control of the Maharaja, like when you get, and get him for personal use, it allows you to actually physically control a character. Which uh, can be pretty useful sometimes, but um, yeah, definitely more useful than Willy's perfume. <laughs> Short around getting all Asian on someone's ass. <laughs> ah, stereotypes. Anyways, we'll crawl down this uh, vent here and yeah, puzzles. Uh, technically, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to wait for the fire to die down. I just go, but like you wait for the fire to die down because it can go through that little grate thing and then it'll hurt your characters. But since you're the one. Maintaining that uh, switch there, like unless you're playing co-op, there's really no problem at all. At all. So yeah, a few whip switches to use here, and a few blue studs along the way. It's all well, now. We'll take on the Maharaja. Take this out of the No, no, he's got away. Oh well, I guess I'll have to chase him some more. Uh, <laughs> that's actually where he finishes the course. So. Yeah, we're done with the left side of the map. Now we're done. Oh, now we're gonna mess with the right side. And now uh, these um, pale guys start popping up. The pale thuggies. Uh, I think they're called thuggy acolytes, like in the previous game. Anyways, um, this is the only time that really happens during this game. But uh, you can pick up the hat of the thuggy because you're pretty much required to. And then you have the thuggy statue here. Only thuggy characters can use it, but once you do, it unlocks something. So yeah, this is really, this is literally the only place in um, pretty much all the story mode, at least, all the story mode levels, where you actually gotta use a thuggy puzzle. Um, otherwise, uh, you have to use it in the overworld, I know that, and probably in the other modes of the game, but that's so ways off, so, well, <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> we rushed it up that thing and spat out a blue disc thing, and this is the ultimate goal of the thing, or like the second part of the game, anyways. You gotta you got find three uh, blue gears and put them all in there, and then of course, since they're blue, you obviously gotta, you know, fix it. So yeah, here's a few good blue studs here if you're uh, needing some money. <laughs> sure, everyone's falling in lava. <sighs> That was funny. Yeah, everyone loves to see short round suffer for some reason. Alright, so here's gear number two. That's the one you get through the thuggy statue. The third one is the probably the easiest one to get because it doesn't really require anything at all. Just a, just a bit of jumping. You can crack this wall here, but there's really no, there's literally nothing behind there. It's just there for some reason. I don't know. So yeah, we'll have Willie go up here and... Oh, I... Okay, never mind. Let's go to Indiana. <laughs> He's equipped with a thuggy and a sword. Pretty decked out. Alright, so whip over here. Crawl up to get the blue stud. And then we'll just... Flying uh, jump. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so yeah, here's the th uh, third one. So now we'll just get this over here. And we'll get that done. What the? Why did it do that? 
Okay, I just have to do it over again. Waste a few minutes here, but... Oh, God dang it! Can I please just get this gear into the thing? There we go. Okay, so now that the three cogs are there, the thing starts smoking and sparkling and all that, so that tells you you gotta repair that crap. Alright, so hopefully the Maharaja doesn't hit us or anything, so I can get this done in one go. Keep my eye bay, guys. There we go. Good good AI. Alright, so yeah, that brings the Maharaja into that flame pyre, the spire thing, and... Whee! Splat. Hello. Oh, what's... <laughs> Saw something in the corner there. <gasps> oh my god, what's he doing? What the? Oh, come on! That did not happen! What? How did he change clothes so quick? What the hell's going on here? Seriously, oh my god. They literally... It's like a totally different developer made this game because they clearly did not watch this movie. <laughs> God, I mean, God knows what that thing is. Go get the chicken. <laughs> oh, look at that. Well, I guess we've beaten the movie. Oh, no, wait, he's still alive. Damn. Okay, so, yeah, now we have access to the Maharaja in his normal attire. Now, in order to get the Mola that you can see up there in the upper right, we actually do need the Maharaja because of what I explained pretty much at the beginning of this video. Uh, his black sleep thing, and if we can avoid these thuggies. Alright, so... Alright, go away from me. Uh, no, go away! Go away! <laughs> okay, so what you do is you aim the black sleep at the guy, and looky there, he's our slave! We'll have him pull the little handle here, and that brings that little thing up, and now we can access Mola Ram. So yeah, all you really have to do is just, like, uh, press Y or something, and you'll deselect from the character. Huh? Alright, so Mole is cornered, so yeah, this should be a very, very easy boss battle. Oh wait, that thing's still alive. Whatever the hell this thing is. Rawr! <laughs> is he saying Kali Ma? Well, he's saying like the Asian version of Kali Ma. Rawi Ma! Anyway, so this is, uh, Mola Rampage. Uh, just like the, um... Kingdom of the Crystal Soul 2 battle, you can easily get the true adventure by just running around because, like, there are purple studs and blue studs just, just lying around. So, yeah, there you go. Alright, so, in order to beat this boss, first you pick up a water bottle and then aim at the foot there, the right foot. It's always the right foot. And then you have a uh, short round crawl into the foot and he'll pop up here and bash Moa off. Then... A whip switch appears, which you get Indiana to use, and uh, we decapitate one of his arms. Or severed. I guess severed would be even better. Wow, how about that for dramatic music, huh? Alright, so yeah, he'll do a bunch of annoying attacks to, um, you know, be annoying. Alright, uh, God, I want to throw one. Ugh! Okay. Alright, give me a water bottle. Alright, oh, w wait, what happened? I guess there was a delayed effect with one of my water bottles. Alright, so yeah, really, all you do is just rinse and repeat. Just, you know, extinguish the foot, get short round to crawl in, and then pull off an arm. Uh, luckily, though, you don't have to do this as many as um, six or seven times. You only have to do it a total of uh, five. And you'll see, like, the next the next few will start, like, um, taking off, like, two arms. Now you'll notice that uh, when he thrusts the sword into the ground, like, um, a few lines started appearing on the ground. Like, those hurt you for some reason, like they're extreme heat or something. So yeah, like, try to avoid the lines when you're trying to move around. Then again, there's barely any penalty for dying, so, you know, it's really, you know, just whatever. Alright, so yeah, just keep going. So yeah, the sword will generate those heat lines. And there we go. What what the hell? That was weird. Alright, come on. Come on, throw the bottle! God. Alright, alright. It hit. Okay, that was weird. This what this whole battle was weird. I'm cotton what the hell is this thing? Is this like the Kelly Mock god that he keeps talking about or something? I don't know. You never really find out in the movie, so. Ah, so yeah, now he's armless, so. 
now he develops one new attack. Fire breath! <laughs> Hell, I'm all use flamethrower. It's super effective. Let's see if I can get this without dying. Looks like I will. All right, hello. Yeah. Cute little thing they added there. All right, so then for the final kill, with switch on his head. And we drained the lava. A bit of an anticlimactic ending. Okay, so now he's going to try and scare us. Hey, look, it's Halloween. <laughs> well, so yeah, not as climactic as the last, as the actual movie, but yeah, it's still funny. Oh my God, it's a revenge of Peter. <laughs> Okay, talk about an out of nowhere thing. So yeah, I've completed all story mode for uh, Temple of Doom, so that gets me the Yupiter and Shiva achievement. If I hadn't already gotten it, uh. <laughs> okay, and I don't know if I've ever said this before, but like the that picture there, like whenever you complete one of the movies, like it'll show like a little picture there, and that shows you, that's basically the overworld of that movie. Or yeah, so like if you want to know like a general like a concept art of what those gigantic overworld areas look like, just look at the credits for that movie. I don't know, just complete the story mode over again. All right, so now that we've gotten that done, there's only one movie we have left to unlock: The Last Crusade, the best of the Indiana Jones movies ever, because it had Sean Connery in it. <laughs> And it has Sala there. I, what the hell? Why is he there? Shouldn't, whatever. Anyways, 18.4% done with Temple of Doom. This is Guy Crutch 9 with Let's Play Lego Indiana Jones 2. And the next episode, we'll start up The Last Crusade.